Hello everybody, this is Yoko's Anime Reactions, and my mom's already awake, which is very confusing to me since she normally would sleep in. It's like 7.30, so I don't know what's going on. Eh. Anyway, my blind reaction to Ruby Volume 5, Episode 8, will start in 3, 2, 1. I wonder how this will go. Um, a question. Don't have to answer what specifics, but just a yes or no will be fine. Does Jean ever get a semblance? For those of you who seen volume really. eight. Ooh. Hey sis. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing up? Can't fall back asleep. Uh, Probably for her too. Well, fortunately, coffee exists. No, please. Don't worry, I put in blasphemous amounts of cream and sugar just for you. Oh yeah, nice way strikes again. I will pour this on you, and it will burn. <laughs> <laughs> can't believe we're actually in Mistral. That's what you can't believe? Well, no. yeah. <laughs> and all the other magic and stuff. But, yeah. <laughs> okay, you know what I mean. I honestly wasn't sure if I'd ever see you two again. Well, here's to defying expectations. I just wish Blake could be here with us. Oh boy. Yeah, well, she made her choice. And she's probably got her own stuff What's to deal with. What's that supposed to mean? I mean, she could have been here if she just stuck around. It's no big deal, though. We'll be fine. Don't you want her here? Why would I want her here? Oh. Are you still mad at her for leaving? Oh, whatever gave you that idea, Ruby? I no, think, I'm yeah. totally fine. I'm great. Okay, calm down. Don't tell me to calm down! Whoa, Yang. Whatever. Yeah, it's still a little bit of a chip on her shoulder on that. Hey, Blake! You ready to go? Be right there. What's that say, guys? We going recruiting or what? We've got the entire nocturnal section to hit up. You okay? Yeah, I'll meet you there. I need to take care of something first. Hmm. I'm guessing that... What a thing, I forgot her name. Uh, she left a note for Blake. God, Blake, you better keep your parents safe. I don't want you losing anybody else. Yeah? Look, Ruby, I really don't want to talk about it, okay? Can you just leave me alone for a bit? I knew it. It wasn't Ruby. Oh. Hey, Weiss. Did you need something? Uh, bird. I know she's our teammate, but I'm not just going to change my mind. I'm sorry, I just... I don't think you know what it's like to be left. You have a giant family. Recitals mm. to perform at. Dinners to attend. I didn't have any of that. My mom left me. Ruby's mom left too. 
Well, that wasn't really her choice. I was always busy with school, and Ruby couldn't even talk yet. I had to pick up the pieces. I had to keep things together. Alone. I don't think Weiss, Ruby's mother had a choice in that. to say, then say it. When I was 10, my dad finally admitted to my mom that the only reason he married her was for the family name. Ooh. It was actually on my birthday. He missed the big dinner. She got mad. He finally snapped. Oh. I think she already knew. Looking back, Wait, I what think happened we knew to your too. mother? But hearing him say it finally pushed her over the edge. So wait, he married into the Schnee family? Is that what you're saying? Or did First, she do it was separate lunches and dinners. Opposite balconies at my recitals. A glass of wine here, a glass of wine there. Then it was no dinners, no recitals. A bottle of wine here, and well, you get the idea. I'm really sorry. I shouldn't have assumed. You're right, though. I don't know loneliness like you do. I have my own version. Yeah. And I'll bet Blake has her own version, too. She doesn't have to be alone, though. I was here for her. We all were. She chose to leave us. Well, she has her Why own demons to deal with. That? Hmm? The entire time Blake was at Beacon, she was afraid to open up to people. She tried to keep her past separated from us. She tried to protect us. Eventually, those walls she put up came down. And the moment they did, the one thing she was afraid of actually happened. The universe proved her right. No one blamed her for anything. If she had just talked to us, she would have known that. How she could was it be afraid for to. her? She doesn't let me. She's afraid to let people in. What if I needed her here for me? I know it's not easy. I wish she hadn't left too. The only thing we can do now is be there for her when she's ready. When she comes back. If she comes back. She will. Eventually. Yang, you, Ruby, and even Blake are more like family to me than my brother or even my own father. I would do anything for you three. And that's sad. And I'm willing to bet Blake feels the same way. Her own so, family is that horrible. When she's ready, I'll be there for her. And I know we're not as close, but I'm here for you too. Why has this come a long way since volume one, episode one? Is uh, everything okay? Yeah, I think everything's okay now. Maybe. Yeah, it is. But yeah, why has this come a long way since the first episode? But yeah, when that happened to Yang, oh, yeah? Blake didn't want to let anything else happen. I'm That's here. why she left. Ilya. Ilya that I know was you're name. scared, but you don't have to be. My family and I, we can keep you safe. I'm sorry. You can make it up to me by helping us stop Corsican Fennec. No. I'm sorry. Trap. <gasps> <gasps> So a bat fennec and what else? Wait. Spider? I've got her. Well done, Sister Trefa. And to you, Willia. Ilya! What are you doing? I tried to warn you, Blake. I'm sorry. Don't tell me you're sorry. But I am. I am sorry it has to be this way, but you and your family are holding the Faunus back. 
Because we're trying to protect people? In what world do you live in where attacking the innocent is the right thing to do? The same one as you. There's no such thing as innocent. There's no right thing to do. Only what's best for us. Yeah, there is such a thing as innocent. The faunus, and there's would the you others who stand Would you kill innocent children and let the and done nothing happen. to you? But you know what snuffs out hate? Fear. I don't like hurting people. But I'll tell you this. It's gotten us results. Yeah. Look where it's gotten you. We all have to make sacrifices for the greater good. No matter how much it hurts. And you think killing me is really for the greater good? She's not gonna no. kill you. But getting rid of your family is. Yeah. You wouldn't. Yes, she would. You can't. I won't let you. I know. That's why you're being sent to Mistral. To Adam. No. Ilya, please. You don't have to do this. This isn't you. Yes, it is. But I guess back then you were just too busy falling for Adam to notice. Yeah, about I that. Was not jealous happening anymore. of the way you looked at him. I wanted you to look at me that way. Ooh, that's interesting. But we can't always get what we want. So Ilya was jealous the entire time. Ima, with me. You two, get her to the docks. Let's go, traitor. No! Huh? <laughs> what? Son? Oh, she had a backup plan. Thanks for the backup. Thanks, good. Thanks for the invitation. You okay? No. You heard, Ilya. My family's in danger. Call the police and let's go. Right. Come on, Mom. Pick up. Oh, crap. Not die. Blake's already lost so much. Not Go technically lost, though. I'm assuming he's lost friends in the White Fang. Uh oh, I think you made him mad. I believe it's time our dear chieftain stepped down, brother. Yes, brother. I'm afraid I'm inclined to agree. Uh oh. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> not good for them. <laughs> Crap. Yeah, I'm sure that Blake has lost fam friends in the White Fang. Um, and her past in the White Fang is catching up to her, obviously. But, yeah. She's already gone through so much, she didn't essentially want to lose anybody, so that's why she left. All that time ago. Anyway, I'm going to get to work on episode 9, and I'll see you guys next time. Hello, everybody. This is Yoko's Anime Reactions, and let's see. My blind reaction to Ruby, Volume 5, Episode 9. We'll start in 3, 2, 1. I sure hope to God that Blake's parents do not die. I don't want her losing anybody. Raven, we have a problem. What is it? Salem's found us. Salem. Okay. 
Four of her followers are waiting to speak with you. Right. We planned for this. Bring me my helmet. Oh boy. I don't recall inviting so many guests into our home. Either I'm losing my memory, or you've all lost your spines. Don't be too upset with them, Raven. Your men simply recognize the power of a maiden when they see it. Which is why we'd like to have a word with you. Leave us. Pack your things, then break down camp. We're moving. A little late to run and hide. You've been on our master's list for some time, so you must understand that we cannot allow you to slip away. I know all about your master, but I don't believe we've met. We're the guys you should be afraid of. Afraid I of? I doubt anyone should be afraid of you. Ooh. Oh, yeah? Tell that to quiet. That's what I thought. I'm Cinderfall. This is my associate, Arthur Watts, and my disciples, Emerald and Mercury. Two children you've tricked into following you. Yep. A disgraced Atlesian scientist and a fall maiden with a surname so appropriate she probably picked it herself. <laughs> Something tells me you've got more than a slight case of egomania. Is that about right? <laughs> I kind of like Raven. <clears throat> Uh, technically, I was also a doctor, but I must say the rest was spot on. Aren't you perceptive? It's what's kept me alive. I'm afraid the only reason you're still alive is because you have something our master wants. Of course, if I'm wrong... Vernal! Oh, is she the Spring Maiden? I thought she might have been. So, this is the long-lost Spring Maiden. I thought so. Prove it. Bernal has done well under my guidance. I'd take that into consideration before you try anything. Raven, I won't underestimate you, so please don't insult my intelligence. There is a slim chance you and your maiden could escape here today. But if you know our master as well as you claim to, then you know you could never truly escape her. Mm. But we come bearing an olive branch. The maidens are merely a means to an end. Salem's true desires are the relics locked within the Huntsman Academies. Come with us. Allow Vernal here to unlock the Relic of Knowledge, and all previous acts of defiance against Salem will be forgiven. Mm. It's the best deal either of you are going to get. You talk as if walking straight into Haven will be easy. That's because it will be. Oh, really? And Master Lionheart is loyal to Salem now. All we need is the key to the vault. You're not the only one to turn your back on Oz, Raven. I'm not helping Salem. I'm not helping Oz. I don't want to part in any of this. That ship sailed when you chose to harbor a maiden. But if you come with us to Haven, yeah, we'll kind of you, not lying your tribe, on that one. and your little secret to live out the rest of your days squabbling in the wilderness. We just need the relic. I need time to think this over. You don't have time. In two days, Haven Academy will be destroyed by the White Fang. You're going to choose now. Backed me into a corner, huh? Yep. 
So, are you with us? Or against us? Good question. If it came down to it, I don't know if uh, the Spring Maiden would be able to take out Cinder. Agreements like these are built on trust. And forgive me for saying, but I don't trust a single one of you. Yeah. You're going to need to give me more. You are in a poor position to negotiate. I want my brother dead. Why? Crow? That's right. He knows I have Spring. And if I help you get your relic, he's going to become a problem. Well, yeah. I have enough problems to deal with. Crow doesn't trust me, but he does trust Ospin's other lieutenants. If Leo really is loyal to you, then you can order him to invite Crow right into an ambush. He arrives at Haven, we take him down, you get your relic, and we all leave happy. <laughs> now this is a proposition I can get behind. All right, ladies, let's pause for a moment. We have one objective. Retrieving the Relic of Knowledge. Now, Crow Bronwyn may be on our list of individuals we would very much like dead, but he's not going to go down without a fight, and he's not going to fight quietly. Our advantage is here is just as you said. We walk straight into Haven. No resistance, no one the wiser. A battle with your brother throws that all out the window. He's good, but not that good. All of us against him? It'll be over in a heartbeat. But it's not just him. He has the students with him. He has Ruby. He certainly does. If we leave that school a bloody mess, it will draw the attention of the authorities. The kingdom mm -hmm. will be on high alert, and the White Fang's attack will be ruined. Then we wait. We wait until the full moon. Leo mm -hmm. invites Crow and his little fighters to Haven the same night Hazel and Adam arrive with the White Fang. As soon as the battle is won, the White Fang demolishes Haven, and any evidence we may have left behind is lost along with the school. Then Salem leaves my people alone. For good. You have yourself a deal. What do you want to bet they're going to try and kill the Spring Maiden? Wait. Don't think I don't see what you're after. If this falls to pieces over your grudge with a child, I will not be taking the blame. Then what are you worried about? Hot. Fly back home and tinker with your machines. And tell Salem she'll get what she wants. And more. Oh boy. I'm hoping that she's setting these guys up to fail. She'll warn her brother about this. They walk into it, no trap, and take them down. Shit. Oh yeah, the aura thing. I'm not sure. I got ambushed right away. Once we take down Corsic and Finnick. No, go now. But you keep assuring me your friend isn't a complete waste of space. Let's see him prove it. We got this, Blake. <laughs> I've wanted to sock these creeps since the day we met. You'll have to get in line. Blake, go! Get your mother. I won't let you down, sir. Shut up. Hey. You got it. What are you gonna do, Raven? Are you gonna tell them? Yes, Vernal. I followed them as you asked. Did they spot you? <laughs> of course not. 
They have a ship two clicks west of here. Looks like they're staying there for the night. Thank you, Vernal. Anything else? Do you actually believe they'll let us go once they have the relic? No. Of course not. No, of course not. They'll They're not going to. leave us alone. Nope. Once our purpose has come and gone, we'll be discarded. Salem only uses people until they are no longer useful. Mm-hmm. If we want to have any chance of defending ourselves against her, then we need this relic. If Crow and those brats want to follow Ozpin, then let them. When the chaos reaches its peak, we'll grab the relic and make our escape. Okay. And the fact that your daughter will be a part of all that? Doesn't matter. I warned her. She made her choice. <sighs> this path won't be easy for us either, but we must do what's right for the tribe. I know. I figured. I'll do whatever it takes. Good. So what are you gonna warn your brother about all this? I mean, that would give them a, dis a damn an advantage against Salem at this point. That's what I would do. Oh. Hey, Crow? Oz needs to talk to you. Oh boy. Come on, Blake, you could find her quick. Go towards the fighting. Are you seriously gonna try and take out a pair of parents when you've lost yours? Is that really what it's come to? <sighs> okay. But, um... Yeah, that would be my guess as to what Raven is going to do. She tells them that plan gets them to leave, gets enough time to go and warn and warn her brother, hey, these guys are going to attack say, attack during the attack on Haven. You guys had better go and take care of that. And she warns them about Lionheart as well. And then she sneaks in while they're dealing with all that and gets the relic. That's what I'm assuming is going to happen. Let me know if I'm right or not. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Hello, everybody. This is Yoko's Anime Reactions. Come on. Stupid thing. There we go. My blind reaction to Ruby Volume 5, Episode 10. We'll start in 3, 2. Things aren't looking good, Oz. Ever the optimist. Yeah. <laughs> While I would not say our current predicament is ideal, I think we can both agree that the situation could be much worse. It could be. Humanity is a resilient force. Oz. Pro-huntsmen like that don't just bite it all at once. Salem's powerful, and it seems like her reach is growing by the day. What does that say about humanity? That there are indeed a misguided few who have filled their hearts with malice. It doesn't take a great number of people to cause harm, but I still believe there are far more people in this world willing to prevent it. Um, excuse me? Ah, Miss Rose. Join us. We were just about to gather everyone to discuss our next steps. Oh, uh, great. Something on your mind, kiddo? Mm hmm? Ah. Uh. If, if it's okay to ask. Of course. Well, uh, we've been talking about the relic at Haven and the Spring Maiden, but 
What about the Fall Maiden? Cinder. Does that mean... Salem has the Beacon Relic? Oh. Very astute, Miss Rose. I was wondering who would be the first to ask. No. Thankfully, she does not. Good. It's true that the Relic at Haven is very much at risk. And for now, that should remain our primary focus. Let's just say I made finding the Relic at Beacon a bit more challenging than at the other schools. <laughs> oh. Good. Oh. That's good to hear. It is. But let's not forget the challenges that still lie before us. It's now, good that you is realize there it. anything else we can help you with? Oh, uh, well, I did have one more question. No, my cane is not a relic. I have no more questions. <laughs> I can't believe <laughs> right, we were thinking that. <laughs> yes, while this cane is indeed very precious to me, it is also just that. A cane. Precious to me. While I admit it still has a few more tricks up its sleeve, I can firmly say that being a relic isn't one of them. Thank God. Now, why don't you run and get the other students? Hmm? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll be there. Who was it? Lionheart? It was Leo. Says he had a breakthrough with the council. Thinks he might be able to get together a small raiding party for the bandits. Hmm. He wants us to meet up at the school tomorrow night to walk us through it. <gasps> really? Oh, that's great! I'll Don't be too trusting. Us. I wouldn't be too trusting. Hmm. That sounds drastically different from your original conversation, does it not? It does. And they know it's more likely a trap. Interesting. Things aren't looking good, Oz. I know. I still have questions for you. You're not alone in that. You know, I never expected you would be the one to have the guts to betray Oz. Which makes me wonder. What does she have on you? Good I'm question. helping her for the same reason you are. I'm afraid. We... We can't stop her. No one can. That's oh, really? why I tried to leave when I did. I'm not afraid. I'm smart. You can call it whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. We're here... Helping her. <laughs> I've crossed a line. I've done things that Ozpin will never forgive, and he shouldn't. I don't know where I go from here. Uh, help. Man up. You did what you had to do to survive. There is no shame in that. Who are you trying to convince? Ooh. The guy is astute. He might be a traitor, but he's astute. Catch him by surprise? Did you come in here to hide? I told you, I didn't want this. But you're still here. Yeah. I don't have a choice. Yes, you do of have a choice. Yes, you do. You have a choice. You've always had a choice. Just you could not go with them. Way. We have 
have to hurt people to get our way. <laughs> because it works. That doesn't make it right. Stop lecturing me! Hey, you need to. You need the lecture. Use those sensitive ears of yours. Why couldn't you just leave? Because I run away too much. Come on, Blake. Get to her. Sorry, Dad. Now you can see. That's where the fire came from. Okay. I thought that for at first like Ilya had set the fire, but no, it was Blake, so she could freaking see. Quit taking pot shots and fight me like you mean it! Hey, what do you think she's doing? You used to see things the way I did. The way Adam did. If no one's going to do anything to stop the humans that attack us, then the only choice we have left is to attack back! <laughs> You're wrong. There's always another choice. Ilya. Please. There is always You're another choice. Person, but Violence is not always the, the answer. Decisions. Shut up! Is this really what your parents would have wanted? I don't know what else to do! I don't know what else to do. Then fight alongside them. Help them. Oh, there we go. Yeah, her doing. Go help Blake. On it. Son.
God. What have you done? You ruined everything. Everything! Oh boy. There we go. Thank you! Thank you! You can help Familia! Fight alongside them! Protect the Faunus! Back! Everyone stay back! We've got people inside doing their best! Look! Get in there! Search for any stragglers! We came as soon as we got the call. And Finnick? Was it worth it? Yeah. Go and check on Ilya. Blake! No, just let her do what she's gotta do. Maybe this'll help. Humans didn't do this. We did this. Faunus. We did this to ourselves. Because we all have different We're views. We're just as capable of hate and violence as the humans, but I don't think any of us would jump at the chance to point that out. So why are we letting Adam do it for us? By doing nothing and staying silent, we let others speak and act in our place. Even and if, if we're it not might not be what we the want, the choices they make, then fine. Then we have no one to blame but ourselves. This is the message Adam Taurus will bring to the world if no one stops him. But we can stop him. You have to understand that all of you are looking for simple answers to a very complicated problem, and I can't give that to you. I don't know how to make hate go away. I don't. Nobody does. But I know that this kind of violence is not the solution. That's right. I understand that to ask you to leave your homes and protect Haven Academy is asking you to put your lives at risk. But that's what's at stake. Because if you don't, so then I'm he's going to come here. And I'll stand by myself if I have to. I'll stand with you! Ooh, Ilya! Knew it. Come on, girl. If... If you'd have me. I'm sure she will. Isn't that the white finger? I thought she the You're not going anywhere. Let her come. Huh? Let her go. You're just going to forgive her? After everything she did? Second chance. I am. Everybody deserves a second chance. She can prove that she deserves that what second chance. What does she think she's doing? She's learned a lesson that evaded me until I was much older. That there is strength in forgiveness. I'll go. I'll go too! 
Oh, this will be interesting. This will be interesting, guys, because we've never seen any of these fall as fight. So how are they going to do this? <laughs> Looks like we've got work to do. Yep. Thank you. A lot of work to do in a short amount of time. You stabbed me. I, I ow. There. We're even. Let's just call it even. <laughs> At least our parents are. We okay, have about God. two weeks before Adam's attack on him. <coughs> We're going to need shields, training, whatever we can do to protect as many people as possible. Mm -hmm. We'll need transportation too, for everyone. A ship. I think I know a ship captain who owes us a favor. Mm-hmm. Okay. Good. Blake is heading to Mistral. What's gonna happen when all this chaos comes to fruition? Because once it hits Mistral, everything's gonna be happening. The attack by the White Fang. Cinder's group. Having to take having to take them down and dealing with Raven and her trying to get the relic. So yeah, this is gonna be interesting, guys. Anyway, I'll get to work on everything and I'll see you guys next time.